Hello, my name is Laura. I'm the owner of You Are Loved Templates. I'm going to be showing you how to use this ADHD planner and tracker template today. Let's start off with the daily planner tab. Up here you have a date that's automatic so you don't have to think about it. If this is incorrect for you, go to File, Settings, Time Zone, and then it should be correct once you click Save Settings. I like to start off with today's focus. And now I like to add my priorities for the day. These are tasks that must get done today. And then you can write a reward at the bottom when you complete your priority tasks. These change colors depending on their status. So this will be my reward if I complete all of these tasks. And as you can see, when you check the boxes, these cross out and turn gray so you don't have to look at them. We can move on to our do later tasks. These are tasks that you'd like to get done today, but they're not necessarily a high priority. So if you complete all of these tasks today, you can get this reward. And then everything else, all the other tasks that you want to list that you really don't have to do today at all. Over here are your daily habits. These are things that you'd like to get done every day. It's in a weekly format. So if today's Thursday, I can say, oh, I did this, 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 this. And it'll give you a percentage for each habit and then an overall percentage. You can list your meals here. Over here is your daily self-care section, so if you brush your teeth, you can check it off. If you shower, take your meds, go out in the sun, work out, read, drink your water, go on a walk, clean, meditate, eat healthy, and journal. And as you saw, the color changes as you go up in percentage. Here's a little brain dump area that you can list anything you need. And over here, you can put today's schedule. So you can just put 7 a.m., wake up. So then your daily planner can look something like this. And when you're moving on to the next day, you can just click this clear data button and everything will clear out except for your daily habits here because we don't want to lose that information. But if you get to the end of the week, you can highlight this and press the space bar twice and that will empty all the check boxes. All right, moving on to the weekly planner tab. This one may look a little overwhelming, but once you understand it, it may come a little more naturally to you. So up here you can select the month and date that you'd like to see on this little calendar. So I'll just choose October and you choose the start date. So I'll choose the 30th and all of these will adjust. So let's show you the 30th here, show you here and the weekdays will change too. And you can choose when you want your time block to start. So if you choose 7 a.m. all of these will adjust. So over here are your weekly priorities. Priorities specific to this week, and you can list up to five. You may relist them from your daily planner. You may notice that there are a lot of places you can put your priorities and to-do list, and I like to do this on purpose because in order for me to remember a task, I have to write it over and over again. Not everyone is the same, so you don't have to fill out every section, but I will for this example. So back on the daily planner, I put I need to finish a presentation for work, but I'll also put it on this weekly priorities list. And then that way, when you get something done, you can check it off in many different areas. These are your weekly tasks, things that you get done every week. So it's not specific to this week, it's specific to all weeks. For example, laundry you'd wanna get done once a week. And throughout the week, as you complete these tasks, they'll cross out and you'll get a little progress bar. Same goes for the weekly tasks. Here you can add any relevant notes. You can put your top priorities for today, and you can also plan ahead for different priorities. Let's say, oh, I need to do this Thursday. It's a priority. You can put it over here so you don't forget. Here's where you can do all of your time blocking. Here you'll have little categories that you can rename down here. So just rename these to whatever you like. You cannot change the colors, unfortunately. If you need me to, I can. Um, it's just a little complicated to change all of the conditional formatting within this template. So I have these already pre-filled. You can keep those if you like. So I'll do, okay, part of my routine is wake up, shower, and you can drag this down so it's colored time blocking, and then just keep going down the list. And then if you like, you can make them for each day of the week so you're planning ahead. It goes all the way seven days a week. You can have a to-do list at the bottom with a priority. You can add the category. And then once you cross it off, you get a little progress bar here too. 
So I recommend using this weekly planner to plan ahead for the entire week. So on Sunday night, you sit down, you do your time blocking, your priorities, all of that. So this isn't typically for daily use, but it definitely can be. And then once you're done the week, again, you can clear data and it'll all be cleared out. Moving over to the monthly planner, this is where you can visually see your entire month. You can add your main focus here. You can choose your month here, but I'm just going to do November 2023 and add anything you want. You can copy and paste if you do something each week. Over here is a to-do list for the month. You can add things that you want to get done next month. So just add that there. Like, okay, I don't want to actually do it this month, but I do want to do it in December. And then once a new month arrives, you clear data and you can start all over and add the new month. And there you have it. And lastly, this is the symptoms tracker. There are different types of typical symptoms when it comes to ADHD. Obviously, I'm no doctor, but I added my own symptoms that I experienced and also things that I found online. So there tends to be three different categories of inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. And within those, there are some symptoms, that, and I added 10 for each. You can put the month up here as a reminder, and then just check it off. So if it's the 1st of October, oh, I had some forgetfulness impatience, and obviously add the symptoms that you want to. This is just what I've gathered, but whatever you're experiencing. But you can definitely add up to 10. If you need to add more, you can, don't click from the bottom row, go like to the middle row, and you can insert one and merge them together and add your new symptom here. And then lastly, drag this down so that it counts these, and then you're all set. And at the bottom here, it gives you total symptoms this month. Um, this one doesn't have a clear data button. All you'll need to do at the end of the month is highlight all of the checkboxes, press the space bar twice, and they'll all be cleared. And that's it for the ADHD planner and tracker.